do you know that world's largest oral cavity cancer cases are in india and that we are the oral cavity cancer capital of the world we have half the total number of world's cases namaskar i'm dr gagan saini i'm senior director and head radiation oncology at max veshadi today we shall be talking about oral cavity cancers and the role of radiation therapy in managing them oral cavity cancers are the cancers which are often referred to as cancer of the mouth mouth includes your lips your gums tongue the floor of mouth the place under the tongue and the place above the tongue which we call as talva and also the cheeks inside what causes oral cavity cancer oral cavity cancer is caused as we all know by excessive tobacco usage alcohol but there is also one more cause of oral cavity cancer and which is sharp teeth sharp teeth due to their continuous irritation of tongue and the mucosal cavity the pink skin inside our mouth can sometimes lead to changes which can turn into cancer so how does oral cavity cancer progress any cancer progresses in three dimensions so oral cavity cancer also does that what it means is that it not only affects the pink surfaces of the inside of our mouth it also starts burrowing inside the muscles and the spaces inside the uh, in the cheeks and in the oral cavity and starts to spread along those spaces then it can spread into the lymph nodes the lymph nodes are basically the sentinels of a human body which try to fight but uh, in this process they get infected by the cancer and also oral cavity cancer spreads through the blood into different parts of the body which is a later stage Well, the treatment option for oral cavity cancer primarily includes surgery. Surgery should be done with good margins, and there should be reconstruction because oral cavity you really cannot do without the parts of oral cavity. So you need to reconstruct for the integrity of the mouth. And after that, most patients also require radiation therapy. Radiation therapy that is required is done in a fractionated manner. What it means is that you do a little little bit of radiation every day for weeks. Sometimes I am asked that why are you not doing radiation therapy in a focused manner in just one place well we have the most advanced equipment in the world in our cancer care center but this is something that we will not do because what we are treating is essentially a lot of normal tissue so the biology so of radiation therapy commands that you give only a little bit of radiation and build the radiation dose to the fullest towards the end So radiation therapy is done daily, little little bit, fractionated form over weeks, and at the end the total dose gets complete. When we are doing radiation therapy, we have to make sure that the dose is going at the right place and not at the unintended areas. For that, what we do is a three-dimensional planning using a CT scan and an MRI scan. This three-dimensional planning is done after proper immobilization and laser-based marking. the target is contoured the target is finalized after that uh, the radiation therapy started when the radiation therapy is going on every day a scan is done during treatment to make sure that the patient is getting radiation therapy only at the intended place during the course of treatment patient requires very thorough reviews because there is some toxicity that happens because at the end of the day it is oral cavity it does have a lot of nerves and therefore there can be a lot of jelen and a lot of pain in the same scheme of things i must also point out that we use the world's most advanced radiation therapy which is the tomo therapy on radizect x9 tomo therapy it slices the target virtually on the computer and make sure that each slice of the target gets a separate radiation therapy plan i would like to conclude by saying that india has taken lots of leaps and bounds in cancer care but please remember that if we don't take the complete treatment the results are not complete and we must take the full treatment as advised by the doc and not try to avoid any component of the treatment hope you like this video and found it informative we would love to hear your comments please put them in the comment box thank you subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest healthcare updates